Bob was here a short while ago with two two little poofs with him. And then I looked out again and Jill and her monkeys were here. But then I looked out again now and I didn't see anybody. But apparently they weren't too far away. Because I opened the door because I saw Oreos there. And I opened the door to give them some treats. And these guys just came out of nowhere. Right, Oreo? You're here to steal your treats. I'll give you an assortment of peanuts and marshmallows. See which ones you like better. Oh, hi, Mr. Fox. We haven't seen you in ages. Where have you been hiding? You're just being more stealthy, I guess. Hmm? I'll get you back in the game. Here you go. And I'll throw some kibble out in the yard for you. You guys are being good. Unusually good. Uncharacteristically good. But you Oreo, you gonna you gonna have some marshmallows now instead? Oh, so that's right, there's peanuts in there too. You're still chomping away. <laughs> you guys are all hovering around the hole. They're all big chickens. And Oreo's gonna put the run to you. And Oreo, it looks like you've had, you've had a rough day. Hmm? You're all disheveled looking. I want to go out and throw some food over for him. But I have to do that without you guys getting upset. So let's see how that works. Okay. Oh, we came back already. So Oreo was here when I went out. I threw some kibble out in the yard for the fox to bring them in a little bit. And Jill's monkeys came back. When I went out on the deck to put the kibble out, they all bolted. Oreo stayed for a couple minutes and then he thought he should just go somewhere else for a couple minutes and I was still putting the kibble out and he was coming back up the stairs. So now I got the seed and he's back again. Hopefully I don't bug him too much. Hey Oreo. Nice one for that one. Can you let me get the other trays without getting upset? I'm not worried about you spraying me, I just don't want to interrupt your meal. Right, guys? <laughs> so where's your chicken mum? Hmm? Or is that your chicken mum? I can't tell. One of the babies looks... One of Jill's babies looks exactly like her. <laughs> is that frozen? Oh. Oh, yo. Oh. Ready? Oh. That didn't work very well, did it? More frozen than I thought. I keep one over here, it's plugged in. And it needs to be changed. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You're being the brave ones for some reason. Zoom out. That doesn't help much, does it? Fox is coming back. <laughs> Hi, are you coming up the chicken way? You coming up the chicken chicken exit? Well, I'm gonna dump the rest of the seed. No sense putting it back. Oh, that one didn't get much. Oh, chickens. And I'll go get a hammer or something, break that up for you. Oh, Bob's back. Hi, Bob. There he is. Hi. Can, did you want a treat? I never quite know what he wants. I'm eating the food that I put there for the fox. So I'll give him a marshmallow treat, see if he likes those. He ate the last one, but he didn't seem too enthused about it. Poor 
guy, no tail, he looks like a little baby bear. No, lost interest. Have to zoom out a bit, I can't. Can't keep him in frame. What about peanuts? If I throw out some peanuts, will that be okay? Ready? Those ones are going to have to be quick. Because the little fellows are going to come steal them as soon as they realize what I'm doing. Hmm? So I think it's Jill's four monkeys and she's not here. I know at least them are three, but there's one that looks like her. And I think it's probably that one because Jill's the most skittish around me for some reason. Bob I'll give him as many treats as he wants it's been uh, it's been a couple days or a couple weeks since I've seen him so you guys are still cleaning up the treats here are you So I know I know who you two are. I know who you are. It's the third one or your mum. Where don't they went? Another handful for Bob. Now we come in here and go in and have a seat, but these guys won't come in. They'll come in if somebody else is already in here, but they won't come in first. Oh, right. I came in to get a hammer. This will have to do. No, I'll have to wait until you guys are done, I guess. Can you guys know where the water is? And I'll change it up in a little bit. Okay? I don't want to just disturb you any further. Oh, look at this. This guy's venturing out with Bob. You know, Bob could be the grandfather or his father. It's hard to keep track with these guys. Bob has some physical traits that I haven't seen in any of the others. So I think he's, I think he's a new, new customer. To the arrangement. Right? You guys are still in vacuum mode. You guys are all getting darker. No, except Ashton, he's already black. But this guy here was almost blonde a couple months ago. So whoever it is down there, they're getting along great with Bob. They're not paying any attention to each other. Maybe he lost his tail during a breeding event. I can't imagine it would go too smoothly. There's going to be lots of clawing and biting and violence involved. Right? And aside from, aside from Ashton, I don't remember any of these guys' gender. So if I had to guess, I'd say these two are both male. And that one down there is female. If I had to guess. Okay, guys.
Get a better shot of Bob. Of course, I'm in my own light. Now Ashton is. It's so nice to see them out. It's a very clear night and it's not windy. It is cold though. I can't quite see that, but. These are pretty calm now. Once one of them is brave enough to stick around, then the others will feed off their bravery. Right? Next, right, sweetie? I think that's Joe. All right, guys, I'm going to leave these alone. And when these are gone, I'm going to come out and change the water. I'm going to see if I can find a water dish. I have one a heated water dish. I have another one bigger than that one. I just got to figure out where it is. Oh, we got another poof. He found the kibble I threw in the yard. Hey, poof, poof, you going to come over? Why would I come over there? I got what I need over here. Oh, wait till he finds that marshmallow. He's going to be a happy little fellow. <laughs> he said, oh, I can smell something. Something here. There's something nearby. No, it's going the wrong way. Taking a shortcut. Going under the shed is, is kind of part of their their main route, regardless of where they're going. Take their little hub. Hey buddy. You come up here, there's still some treats they haven't found yet. Hmm? Come on up, sweetie. I'll, I'll put some more treats out. That might be feisty. It's hard to tell because they all got so fluffy so quickly. Hi, sweetie. Want some treats? Here. There you go. And there's Oreos back. Oh, oh, he found the marshmallow. He's, he's leaving town. Right? I'll come up and get some more, hopefully. You guys ready? Oh, it's a big pile. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Bob. Didn't mean to hit in the bum with them. Yeah, I think that is feisty. Trying to decide whether or not it's worth coming up with all the goons around. Right? This keeps you so-so, doesn't it? So, mental note, Bob doesn't like marshmallows. Hard to keep track of these things. Sometimes Feisty won't take a peanut. He's just feeling a little bit ornery about it. Oh! Oh, he doesn't want them either. He just wants the marshmallows. So oh, you're going to vacuum them, are you? Okay. And since everybody's being so brave, I'll throw in some more peanuts too. Ready? Ready? There. Be a little poof who gets some. Hi, Bob. If you look around there, there's tons of peanuts on the ground. I threw out like three handfuls. Maybe he's just waiting for me to shut up and go away. 
I figure they all get to that point at one point or another. Throw some more in there. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you alone. You got lots of treats and you got lots of food. All right, so behave and be safe.